All right, if you have a problem with your computer, there's good news. The screensavers now have an emergency response team, the Computer Rescue Squad, who actually make house calls. Our team got a call from a desperate viewer. They were promptly dispatched. The question of the day, did they solve the problem or make it worse? Folks, let's see what happened. Yeah, uh, Roger. Yeah. Nice to see you. How you doing? Nice Carmine Gallo. I do. You had a computer problem for us to solve. Yeah, I have a DVD and a video card that don't seem to want to get along. Um, can you take me to your computer? Sure. You got any snacks? Hopefully, I think it's just because there are dual entries for the video card and the device manager. Okay, now I know that the drive works and the software works. So now I, I can kind of basically isolate the problem with the video card and the drivers. Right. So since I know this works, I'm going to concentrate on the video card instead of your DVD playback and all that. Okay. I have no, no doubt in him at all. See, my credentials are not in question. Wait. 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 Bill, do you have any uh, recommendations on how to get your dog off my leg? So, I'm going to have to have to install the drivers for this. Now, I have the updated drivers off the web for that same card if you need them. Hey, Bill, you like chickens? I'm going to do this just to work, and then after that, we'll see uh, any more problems with the video card. Okay. okay. The only problem you had was when you were playing a movie with the Win DVD on with the video with with the ATI card in it. The movie came up and said it can't play. And then I took for granted what the ATI software was telling me because it does a check. I didn't manage to get his video card working, but I did get to get his. Uh, I did manage to get his DVD working, so I got half the thing done. Unfortunately, I didn't get the other half. Uh, what I'm thinking is it's most likely a driver error because I can get the video card to work with a generic driver, but I can't get it to work with the ATI driver. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's meet our team of computer specialists. Roger Chang, the technician, and Scott Harriet, the dispatcher. Nice, nice job, Scott. So, uh, Roger, y you said the problem was he could, two problems, really. He yeah. couldn't see a DVD in his video driver, was um, I traced his DVD problem back to a bad uh, software install, so mm -hmm. I basically uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and they got it working again. And that, that happened pretty quick. That yeah, was, it was easy. like first 10 minutes of the thing. But there was a little more trouble on the second yeah. half there. The video card was just a little bit more tricky than I made it out to be. Um, well, I, I actually, I thought out to be. Uh, I originally thought it was just a driver error. I right. installed the driver, yeah. pulled the card, right. turned, powered it down. Did all the right things. You know, let it sit. Go plug everything back in and reinstall the drivers. It works fine with generic drivers, you know, 16 color VJ 640 by 480. Wonderful. However, once you go to install the drivers, you get a memory error every time you boot up into Windows. So you never got it working? Never got it working. How long were you there? Uh, I would say a good hour and a half. Scott, did you have anything uh, to add to that? Did you help him at all, or were you just messing with the dolls? You saw the tape, right? I did see the tape. <laughs> I did see the tape, yeah. I just, maybe, they, maybe they missed something where you were actually helping in As soon as Roger said the word BIOS, I left the room. <laughs> Probably a wise choice. Now, Bill Beverly, the guy you rescued or half rescued, is on the net cam right now. Uh, Bill, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Leo. Bill, you're a brave man. When, when Roger and, uh, and Carmine showed up at your door, how did you feel about that? Uh, a little scary with Scott coming along, but Roger was great. <laughs> <laughs> you knew you were in trouble when Scott Harriet shows up at the door. So after they left, were you a little let down? They couldn't solve the whole thing? Uh, not really, because I assumed I'd done everything Roger tried to do, but I, was, I thought I was missing something, of course. Well, and, and Roger did get your DVDs working. That's right. Yeah. So what happened after they left? Did you call the company? Yeah, I called again, and this time, of course, if you give them good information with your real complaint, then they have an easier time of finding a good answer. And he told me the BIOS was bad on the board. So there was actually something wrong with their hardware. Right. I see. And it was deceiving because it would work standard, but it wouldn't work with the upgrade drivers. I see. 
So uh, what, did, what did they tell you to do? Did you actually have to flash your BIOS? Well, they told me they would do that for me. I had to mail it to them. You sent I it did. back? Yes. Wow. How long did it get to take before you got it back? Uh, they did it overnight back, so well, it was only nice. like three days total, I think. Well, good for them. Well, who is the manufacturer? We ATI. Should, they should give them a little plug. ATI did a good job getting it fixed for you. Did you use Scott Harriet's name on the phone with them? Uh, no, but I told him it was taped for a local TV show or a cable TV show. So. Uh, that might have helped a little bit. Always use that clout when you can, Bill. So everything's working great. Yes, it actually was working after all that, after I did put it back in the new one. That's great. And did Scott bring the doll back? Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> okay. And the Chihuahua's fine. Oh, yeah, he's great. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, how were the snacks, by the way, Scott? Uh, a little sparse. Uh, what impressed me most, though, is that Bill had four uh, huge packs of Marlboros in his refrigerator. <laughs> you, you don't actually have to refrigerate the cigarettes anymore, Bill. They've got this new thing. Uh, <laughs> preservatives. Hey, Bill, thank you for being such a good sport. I'm glad everything worked. I'm glad Scott and uh, Roger didn't trash your home. Uh, and I guess we can, uh, we can close the case. A successful rescue mission. It was, thanks. Thank you, Bill. We appreciate it. All right, you too, thanks. Well done. Bravo, you guys. Bravo to the uh, emergency response team from the screensavers. Uh, when hey, Leo, yes. wait. Hold on a sec. Yeah, hold on. Uh -oh. That's in Walnut Creek? Right. Another Rod, call. get ready to roll. We got a guy with a bad floppy, something uh, Leo's had problems with. Um, <laughs> we're going to head out. We'll be right over. All right, let's go. Uh, the bad floppy is not a problem anymore. All right, just see you. See you. The blue luck. pill. Okay. Yeah. All Thank right, you. thanks. Bye-bye, guys. All right, there they go. They can barely get out the door, but they... <laughs> If you want the Screensavers emergency response team coming to your home, and I know you do, head to the Screensavers website, click on... Win a house call, submit your problem. At this point, they are going only to homes in the San Francisco Bay Area. But as soon as we get that, uh, that Chevy fixed, they could be anywhere, anywhere in the world.